In this problem, I'll distribute the exponent to both terms, top and bottom, on the right side. So it'll be y plus 1 squared on the top and x squared on the bottom. This will be equal to y times ln of times dx over dy. So I'll move the x squared to that side, and I'll move the y to that side. I'll get y plus 1 squared over y is equal to x squared ln x. This will have a dx, and I'll multiply the dy to the other side. Now I can integrate both sides. On the left, I can distribute the exponent. So I'll get y squared plus 2y plus 1 is over y. And on the right, I can use integration by parts. I'll say u is ln x. du will be 1 over x dx. And dv will be x squared. v will be x cubed over 3. And I'll use the integration by parts formula. uv minus the integral of v du, u is ln x, v is x cubed over 3, then it'll be minus the integral, v is x cubed over 3, and du is 1 over x, dx, this x on the bottom will cancel, and we'll have x squared on the top, so it'll be x cubed ln x over 3, minus one third the integral of x squared dx. So this will become x cubed ln x over 3 minus one ninth x cubed plus c. So now that's my term for the right side. Now I'll do the left side. I'll separate this, and I'll get the integral of y squared over y, plus the integral of 2y over y, plus the integral of 1 over y. I didn't write the dy's to save time, but you should include them. So this would be the integral of y dy, plus 2, the integral of dy, plus the integral of 1 over y dy. So this term here will be 1 half y squared. That term there will be 2y. And the last term is going to be ln of the absolute value of y. So that's my left side. Now I'll go ahead and include my right side into there. So this will be equal to x cubed ln x over 3 minus one ninth x cubed plus c. So that is your final answer. If this video helped you, consider subscribing.